In the recent days, I uploaded a video the other day that sparked a little bit of controversy around my opinion of a character. And I'm here to apologize and explain myself of why those actions were. I'd like to address two comments at the moment. Slay Ryrus. Cyrus, who posted Sue Storm, hate throughout the video was unnecessary. Good just played and talked about her skills instead of being hateful. Just lost a subscriber. I agree. I do agree that I was too harsh on the character. I should have focused on the gameplay, but the gameplay wasn't that remarkable to my recollection. And I do apologize for being hateful of this character, but I was trying to explain the character in terms of if someone was coming in not knowing much about the Invisible Woman, my overall thoughts of her as a character. Um, next is um, Seven Buffet, who says, Literally no one cares if you like her or not. Just show a normal review like other YouTubers. Who fa o of the reviews of the game. I don't know what typo there, but okay. Of the game. And on top of that, you don't even have the proper arguments for all the hate. Plus, you don't even know anything about the character. Like, if you want to rant, at least read a comic book or two. Now, Stefan Buffet has a clear argument there. Um, I like to explain myself about this whole thing. I agree when I proportion. I should have just talked about it for a couple of minutes and said I went through the whole video. I do apologize about that, but it's because, based on my recollection of the Fantastic Four, I don't read much Fantastic Four comments because I don't really like them. And um, it's because they don't really know what they want to focus on. If they want to be the sci-fi type of comic books or the monster movie comic books. And they cross the line sometimes, and I don't really find that entertaining. Now, the members of the Fantastic Four are unique. I'm not denying that. You have Reed Richards, this fantastic, Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and Ben Grimm, the Thing. Of them, I kind of liked, they all have a dichotomy that works well together, but if you take them singly, singularly, there's parts that I don't really care for. Reed I like because Reed's really smart and he, he knows what needs to be done, he's the very thoughtful leader. Sue is kind of the matriarch of the group, kind of being like trying to keep giant control and trying to be loving towards um, Reed, um, and kind of leaving Ben in the dish, if I remember correctly, based on the stuff I've read, but she, she consoles Ben a lot as well. Ben is really the thick, like, oh, no one can love me because I'm a monster, but finds love, and I, I kind of like that aspect, but he's very, like, brutish and just like, ugh, no one talks to me like that, but again, like I said earlier, he is the Chandler to, um, Reads Ross and to Johnny's um, Joey. Yeah, I think saying that um, <laughs> Reed does not read um, Johnny is Joey. The group. And because of that, I think um, Johnny was really well written and he was a very fun character to read. But in all of that, Sue was, in my opinion, the least interesting person to listen to, um, to read and to listen to in terms of our media because. All of her stuff. I gave, gave her credit. She has cool powers and she does do cool stuff in the comics. But in the same regard, she's very much the patriarch and everything else. And I stopped reading Fantastic Four comics for a while. And once um, she started getting back up in popular, when I started reading more stuff about her, watching more stuff with her, she is always the whole, oh, Reed's, I'm more committed to this relationship than Reed is. Reed cares more about the science and I feel like I'm going to lose him and Reed doesn't know this is a problem. And because of that, I felt she was kind of annoying because it didn't feel like there was a problem there. It was only one side. Now, there is a relationship in like Marvel Comics. I think there's a better job of this whole like marital dispute thing. And that is Ant-Man and Jim Van Dyne and the Wasp. Um, because I think both sides acknowledged there was a problem. Hank was a bit more crazy, but he didn't acknowledge there was a problem in their relationship, so I think it was a better handled story than what, um, Sue was going through. That's my personal opinion, and I like Sue's alright because of the character, but there's parts I just don't like as her because I don't really like a matriarchal character, because I feel like it distracts from everything, but it is needed for the team. I do acknowledge that her personality is needed for the team. But as a single character, it doesn't work in my opinion. But in an overall character in terms of the team, yes, definitely. She works great for the team of the Fantastic Four. But in my opinion, she doesn't really work well as a character on her own. That's my personal opinion. I think she has great powers. In the game, I wasn't that impressed with her abilities. That's why I didn't focus more on it. I do apologize for that. I hope this video is explained like why I, my opinion on the character and my apologies for the video. 
I hope you can take it in your heart to forgive me. Um, uh, Miles, I understand that my video quality sucks. Um, also, quit the whole Sue Storm hate. Okay, I acknowledge that. Anyway, um, I hope this can clear some stuff up, and, um, have a good day.